Today's lecture is about importing WooCommerce sample data. We are here at WooCommerce website and here are the instructions of how we will do that. First of all, we will need sampledata.csv file which is located inside our plugins directory. If you don't have your plugin downloaded yet, you can do it by going to Google from wordpress.org you need to download it from here wordpress from org here's the website again just click the download button perfect Get, we are getting back to our lecture now after your WooCommerce plugin is downloaded you will need to locate a sample data file inside and upload to your website here in this example we are working on a local host so we will be uploading the WooCommerce dummy products categories and other stuff to this localhost website let's take a look at our products right now for the moment we are having only four products which I created previously when I was making a lecture on WooCommerce products if you go back to WooCommerce website and read this article this tells you that there are two ways you can upload the CSV file to your WooCommerce website the first one is via WooCommerce products to do that you need to go to products like that here and then you have all products and then you go to import like that import button from here you need to choose the file I can zoom in for you you can easily read now, now. choose file something like that appears after that you need to choose sample data sample product.csv file which I will show you where it is located at once you choose the file you need to click continue button go all the way down and then run import and then you are done the second method is import via WordPress importer this is located at the left hand side under the tools when you click the tools this will expand and import button will be visible let me give you a look here is the tools button and import is inside here perfect what's the next step you need to find the last option WordPress go all the way down for the moment this extension is not installed so we need to install this extension as you can see here they already have installed so we need to install it right now and then this run importer button if this is not clear I can zoom in for you run importer button will appear it's appearing now once we click the run import we need to choose the file the same file sample products.xml here is the difference now the xml uh, one file a extension is xml and the other one is csv they are both similar but 
and they board, uh, does the same job so when you are importing from wordpress you need to import via xml file when you are importing via woocommerce and products all products and then import then you need to choose csv file so you can't uh, use the wrong file in the wrong place next is upload uh, upload file and import import create new user or assign the post to existing user I'm waiting for my WooCommerce to download then I will get the file from that and then I will upload file here for the moment I am pausing the video here I will be back once my download is completed my plugin is now downloaded I will go to downloads open the directory here I have it so I will extract from here put it in a different folder where I can extract good here I need to extract this folder like that now done inside the folder we can see a folder named sample hyphen data this is it where the file is located if I take you back to the website and show you the instructions see here which are located in the WooCommerce folder sample data right here we are at sample data open the folder now you have two kinds of uh, files this white file is xml file those two are csv this is the text rates this is the products so if you right click on the file and you can see the extension CSV extension is dot CSV so this will do the job now we need this file here now as I can import the products only once so for the first time I will import from products then I will delete everything and then I try the second method so I'm going to implement the first method now I'm going to products all products here I have import button I need to choose the file so I can drag the file here like that easy you can untick this option if you do not have any products in your store like if you are having an empty store and you are about to import some dummy data then you untick that and s let me explain further this option for you sometimes what happens is you are running a website and then you decide to have an other website a new website where you export the products from your old website to your new website in that case you need to tick mark this option I'm clicking continue now perfect here I don't need to do nothing you can read the options yourself in my case I need to go all the way down no need to change nothing and run the importer this will import the dummy data for me like that first three steps are done products are being imported once this is done I will go to products and see the effect 
whether or not I got any success. This product import may take up to 5 minutes. So I am stopping the video here. I will be back once this is done. It's now done 15 products imported view product view product perfect here you can see name of the product school stock status that it's in stock price category and published five minutes ago is all done these are my old products and now I'm going to visit my shop here my shop is set in a way that it shows categories first then underneath sorry sorry My shop is showing all the products right now. This is my old product. These three are all products. Then we have page two. Opening a product now. Perfect. We also got description related products. Now we are going to delete the products and import with the second method. <coughs> going to products and all products. Select all by clicking here. And I will keep my previous products which I which I need for the moment. These two. And the rest will be deleted in bulk move to trash and apply this is done as you can see here trash appears now previously we didn't have trash button here they are not permanently deleted but they are in trash this is from where we can restore them and delete them permanently but I leave them in the trash for the moment I'm going back to all products and see what I have my previous four products and I will do the same with the product categories I go to categories select them all like that remember that this is my default category uncategorized this cannot be deleted the rest can all be deleted I will keep my previous categories not deleting them and the new ones will be deleted like that categories don't have trash once they are deleted they are gone so make sure you don't accidentally delete your categories this is done this is done heading towards our method 2 now we are going all the way down to tools import all the way down to wordpress run importer choose file instead I will go to the folder click the XML file which I explained earlier on choose it here upload and wait 
for the process to finish now here this will ask you to provide the username of the admin like in this project I am registered as user so you can use your first name like my username is user you can say this way I had two users here but you can say you uh, any of the admin you need actually done now download and import the file attachments submit <clears throat> as long as this is spinning so we will be waiting for that it's done now we are going back to our products and seed effect as you can see here 22 products are imported we can again visit the shop and see the effect perfecto our products are now imported so this is the end of this topic thank you so much